Hi everyone, Megan here for a book review, or my thoughts on a book. Uh, Betsy and Joe from the Betsy Tacy series. Um, I'm doing the read-along hosted by Kate Howe, Life Between Words, and Books I'm Not Reading. So um, you can go back, watch my previous reviews of the previous Betsy Tacy books. But for the month of June, we read Betsy and Joe. Um, yeah, this is a bind up of Betsy was a junior and Betsy and Joe. So um, Betsy and Joe was delightful. As you can see, here's some of the other Betsy Tacy books. I'm lending the first bind up to my mom so um, she can enjoy those. Um, yeah, Betsy and Joe, this one was quite romantic. Definitely the most romantic out of all the books so far. Um, oh, and I should say there will be spoilers in this uh, video. So, um, up until now, we've kind of been sensing that Betsy and Joe will get together, and this is the book where they finally do. So not only do we have romance with Betsy and Joe, but we have romance with Betsy and Tony. So in Heavens to Betsy, or Heaven to Betsy, um, the first high school book, Betsy is in love with the tall, dark stranger, this new boy who comes into her life, and it's Tony. And then that develops into just friendship, um for the next two, three books. Now in this one, Tony finally starts to notice Betsy and it's kind of heartbreaking because T Tony is a great guy and you, and it, you know, you don't want Betsy to hurt Tony, but Betsy, you, you know, is supposed to be with Joe. They're both writers. They both just get each other. Um, and they both liked each other for a long time. So, um, that, it's so sad. It was so sad for me to see that happen, but I think by the end, Tony really did find his calling, and Betsy and Joe figured out what was holding them back. So, um, yeah, another part that I found very interesting was up until now, Tib and Betsy have been mystified. Betsy and Tib are, you know, Betsy, Tib, and Tacy, they're kind of the best friends. Betsy and, and, and Tib have been mystified that Tacy, um, just doesn't seem to like boys, just is not interested. Even when Tom is interested in Tacey, she's like, mm, yeah, I don't, I don't need to go to the dance with Tom. I'm not interested, actually. And they're thinking, oh no, she's going to end up an old maid. The worst thing ever. We better help her so she doesn't end up an old maid. Well then, a guy named Mr. Kerr, or Mr. Kerr, depending on how you want to pronounce it, he shows up and instantly likes Tacey, and Tacey instantly likes him, and... Yeah, they just know. Um, so yeah, we'll see if they end up together, but I, I'm pretty sure they'll end up together. So, um, yeah. Uh, another part that was interesting about this book was, um, they do a play, um, a kind of a community play where they all get together and they all do like, basically like, um, um, a mix of like vaudeville numbers. So before, um, musicals as we know it today, before book musicals, um, came to be uh, Rodgers and Hammerstein with Oklahoma. That was kind of like the first book musical. Um, before that, it was kind of like, here's a little, you know, recitation of this, and here's a little song there, and here's a little scene there. But it wasn't like a cohesive book musical. So um, that's kind of what they were doing. And yeah, there were some songs and scenes. And the little picture, um, I'm just trying to find it here, the little illustration of their play is of something that isn't in the play at all, and it's kind of alarming when I saw it, it is blackface. Um, and back then they had minstrel shows where they would have white people um, put on blackface and do minstrel shows. Um, and they, they don't have this in the book, like nobody puts on blackface in the book, so I don't know why they have a drawing of that, but yeah, it's too bad they kept that drawing for Oh, you know what? I bet they didn't mention, I bet this is Tony in blackface, because they didn't mention that, they, they mentioned Tony straddling a chair and singing a song, but they didn't mention that he was in blackface, or maybe I was just spaced out and missed that. But yeah, um, once again, it shows, shows the times, but it's a bit uncomfortable for me as a modern reader to see that. Even um, um, uh, Al Jolson, um, he was starred in the first talking picture, the jazz singer. It was a musical, and he was in blackface in in that um, in that musical in that number. He would he would always he had a blackface character that he would do, 
And I remember hearing that for Al Jolson, it wasn't about racism. It was about, for him, he felt more himself when he put the blackface on. He, he could then truly express himself. But I'm like, if you have to truly express yourself in that way, like, something's wrong. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, okay. I just, I'm getting a message. I forgot to put it on airplane mode. Oh, well, that's okay. Um, yeah, it's funny. I really enjoyed this book, but I actually don't have a whole lot to say. Um, it was great. I enjoyed it. Um, I don't really love reading romances, even though I just couldn't wait for this to happen with Betsy and Joe. There just seemed like there, there wasn't as much else going on as I would have liked, but, um, I really did enjoy it and I'm really looking forward to the next one and I'm glad that her and Joe are finally together. So, um, yeah, um, so I would recommend this series, of course, if you're not doing the read along, then it's not too late to join. Still got a few more books to go. Well, these three we haven't done yet. Yeah, these three we haven't done yet. Um, so yeah, I guess till next time, uh, may you be filled with peace, hope, love, and joy. So take care, everyone.